Welcome to episode 100 of Now in Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. And speaking of notable, not only is our 100th episode a milestone, but we've got a new style, new music, and a new bot. We'll cover the first developer preview of Android 15, the stable release of Android Studio Iguana, MLKit document scanning, the Wear OS hybrid interface, nested scrolling, strong skipping and shape morphing in Compose, and more. We released the first developer preview of Android 15, which focuses on providing access to superior media capabilities, minimizing battery impact, maintaining buttery smooth app performance, and protecting user privacy and security, all while enabling a diverse ecosystem of devices. Android 15 includes updates to Privacy Sandbox and Health Connect, and introduces new file integrity protection APIs. It provides an enhanced camera controls and virtual MIDI 2.0 devices to help power creative applications. It expands the Android Dynamic Performance Framework to support a power efficiency mode, report GPU work durations, and return thermal headroom thresholds. And it adds quality of life focused OpenJDK APIs that will be updated on over a billion devices through Google Play system updates. Get started today testing your app with the Android 15 Developer Preview in the emulator, or by flashing a system image onto a Pixel 6 Plus, Pixel Fold, or Pixel Tablet device. We launched Android Studio Iguana in the stable release channel to make it easier for you to create high quality apps. Enhancements include Jetpack Compose UI Check, which automatically audits Compose UI for accessibility and adaptive issues across different screen sizes. Progressive rendering in Compose Preview, which speeds up iteration on complex layouts by lowering the detail of out of view previews. Version control system support and app quality insights, built-in support to create baseline profiles for Jetpack Compose apps, enhanced support for Gradle version catalogs, the Espresso Device API, and updates from IntelliJ 2023.2. The blog gives information on all these changes and more. The Android Photo Picker now integrates cloud photos, giving apps a unified way to let users browse and grant access to selected local and cloud photos and videos. It's currently available with Google Photos, is open to other cloud media apps that meet the eligibility criteria, and it's rolling out with the February Google Play system update to devices running Android 12 and above. We launched the MLKit Document Scanner API, enabling you to easily integrate advanced document scanning capabilities into your apps. The API offers a standardized and user-friendly interface for document scanning, includes precise corner and edge detection for accurate document capture, and allows users to further crop scan documents, apply filters, and remove fingers or blemishes. It processes documents on device, eliminates the need for camera permissions, and is supported on devices with Android API level 21 or above. The Wear OS powered OnePlus Watch 2 launched with a dual chipset architecture that works with our hybrid interface to dramatically extend battery life up to 100 hours of smart mode regular use. You can leverage existing Wear OS APIs to get the advantage of these optimizations, such as notification compat and health services on Wear OS. With Wear OS 4, we launched the watch face format, and the new format helps future-proof watch faces to take advantage of emerging optimizations in future devices. There are a bunch of articles worth checking out. Levi covered nested scrolling in Jetpack Compose, giving a deep dive into how you can implement custom nested behaviors such as what the Material 3's top app bar scroll behavior parameter does. Ben explained Jetpack Compose's strong skipping mode, an experimental feature in the Jetpack Compose Compiler 1.5.4 Plus that changes the rules for what composables can skip recomposition, which should greatly reduce recomposition, improving performance. Rebecca showed how you can use shapes in Compose to create a cool progress bar that morphs between two shapes using the Graphics Shapes Library, which has new documentation to help you add these effects into your apps. Over in videos, hashtag WeArePlay highlighted the developers behind We Spot Turtles, whose app helps crowdsource pictures that a machine learning model uses to help collect extensive data on sea turtles in the wild. There was a bunch of activity over in Android Jetpack, including the first alphas of Annotation 1.8, Benchmark 1.3, Core Remote Views 1.1, Glance 1.1, Profile Installer 1.4, Lint 1.0, Wear Watchface 1.3, WebKit 1.11, and Compose Material 3 1.3. 
we also released HILT version 1.2 with assisted injection support for HILT view model and HILT navgraph view models, as well as Test UI Automator 2.3, which adds support for multiple displays and custom weight conditions. In episode 204 of Android Developers Backstage, Fan Notations, Tor, Romain, and Chet talk about one of Tor's favorite topics, Lint. Specifically, they talk about Lint checks and the annotations that use them to enable better, more robust, and more self-documenting APIs. As Chet would say, Lint is not just for pockets anymore. That's it for this week with Android 15 Developer Preview 1, the stable release of Android Studio Iguana, Cloud Photos now available in Photo Picker, MLKit document scanning, the Wear OS hybrid interface, nested scrolling, strong skipping and shape morphing in Compose, annotations with Lint, and more. Check back soon for your next update from the Android Developer Universe.